Breaking late this evening, a federal court has rejected Congresswoman Corrine Brown's challenge to the state's redistricting. This is the case we've been following since even before the maps were redrawn. Channel 4 political reporter Kent Justice is joining us now with this new development. Kent? Yeah, Tom and Mary, Congresswoman Brown was fighting to keep this district, the 5th district, stretched down from our area into Orlando. When the congressional maps were redrawn, the 5th district changed to this, an area that stretches along the northern border of Florida from our area over to Tallahassee. Well, we were there when Congresswoman Brown and her supporters took the case to Tallahassee. Brown and about 20 voters from the old district, they were suing to throw the maps out. They claim that the new district will not allow an African American to be elected. However, the three-judge panel today unanimously ruled against Congresswoman Brown, saying that she could not prove her argument. And the court opinions, the judges wrote, uh, in part, a win is a win regardless of the margin of victory. Moreover, on this record, any drop in the margin of victory in District 5 reflects only that for purposes of obtaining partisan advantage, members controlling the legislature's redistricting process previously sought to and for a time succeeded in packing black voters into the north-south configuration to minimize their presence in other districts. And we spoke with News for Jack's political analyst Jennifer Carroll about the case. The problem that she faces is that her new district has 1% less of the black population in prison from her old district. And her new district have more blacks in it, notwithstanding the prison population, than her old district had in it. So she, doesn't, she did not have enough merit on the case itself and substance to challenge the current district under her argument that it doesn't have enough blacks that can vote for the candidate of their choice, which obviously she would like it to be herself. The ruling also affects Congresswoman and Democrat Gwen Graham. Her District 2 is becoming more Republican in the wake of the changes to Brown's district. And we reached out to Congresswoman Brown this evening. And when one of our producers talked with her on the phone earlier tonight, she told us she hadn't heard about the ruling at that point and she needed to speak with her lawyer before commenting. Tom and Mary. Thank you, Kent.